Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how do we use loops in R. In R, we have different types of loops. We have for loop and we have while loop. First, let's discuss the for loop. Now, why do we need loops? So if there is certain task that we need to perform repetitively, uh, for that, what we can use instead of writing all those commands manually, what we can do is we can automate that task using a loop. Uh, now, in this case, I'm going to discuss the syntax of the for loop. So first we write the word for, and within parentheses, we provide a, a set of values. So first we use the word I, or it can be anything. It can be an ABC or XYZ or any descriptive name. So this would be a variable that would contain certain uh, certain values. Then we use the word in and then we provide the range or a vector. So in this case, I'm providing a range. It is also a vector. So if I press control enter, we know that it would give me a value of one to 10. So what this would do is that it would uh, first assign a value of one to I. Uh, then this, this command would be executed. So within parentheses, uh, this curly parenthesis, what we do is we provide a command that need to be executed. So what's, what we do over here in this simple, simple version of for loop is we provide this print command. We want to print whatever I is. So what this would do is when in the first iteration, it will assign the value of one to this I and this print command would print one. In the second iteration, it would assign a value of two to I and it would print that value too. So this I is a sort of a container that contains certain values. So if I select this and press control enter, or I can simply uh, put my cursor anywhere within the loop and press control enter, and that would execute the loop. So it printed out all these values one by one. So each within each, each iteration, uh, this I would uh, had been assigned a value and it would repetitively print out that values till it reach the, the maximum value that I have specified uh, within this range. Okay, so in this case, I have used I, but you can use anything, any word. Uh, secondly, we can use any set of commands over here. It cannot just be print or any specific simple command. You can have multiple commands over here. And lastly, when an, uh, in a, a beginners try to use loop, what they do is that they uh, miss this ending curly bracket. Now, if you have done that, firstly, you would uh, get this error sign. Secondly, if you press control enter, you would see this plus sign over here. And what this is saying is that this command is uh, is still not closed. So, uh, so whatever you write in the console, you keep on typing that, but this plus sign would, would still uh, come back. So what you need to do is you need to close that uh, parenthesis, right? So this is what uh, normally the error uh, is what you would get. Okay, instead of providing this range or this vector within the uh, the, the parenthesis, what we can do is we can define this, uh, this vector separately. So in, over here, what I'm doing is I'm defining this, uh, this vector range that would contain value 14 to 22. So if I click this vector and press control enter, you would see that it contains the value 14 to 22. And instead of using uh, uh, this, this range within this parenthesis, uh, this vector within parenthesis, I'm referring it uh, within, within the for loop. Secondly, I have used uh, another value, a more descriptive uh, word uh, to represent it. Remember to use the same word within your command. So if I execute this, I would get 14, 15, so on and so forth. But sometimes you would want to increment these loops. So instead of getting 14 and then 15, what you would want is maybe 14 and then 16 and then 18 uh, or any, uh, I mean, any increment. Uh, so how do we increment loop by a specific number? Now, uh, the first set of uh, this, this uh, command would uh, remain same, but what we do is we use the sequence function and the sequence function provides the same range, right? So it is from one to 30. So this is exactly the same as writing one to 30, right? 
but uh, the only additional thing that this uh, sequence uh, or seq function have is that it have this by parameter and uh, but what this by parameter would do is we can specify a certain um, a certain number uh, that would be used as an increment so it would start with one increment by three and then we would have four and then again increment by three and so on and so forth so that the rest of the command is uh, is same so we have one then four and then increment by three and so on and so forth till we reach the last uh, a digit so if we add 3 to 28 we would obviously ex exceed our maximum limit so it didn't uh, print that out so it ended the loop now that were just numbers but we can use characters in loop so i'm de defining a vector names over here that contains different names right so if i press ctrl enter we have this names vector over here and if i can show you that in the console uh, you can see the all these four names so uh so what i have done is uh, i've used uh, this names vector over here right again i'm using a descriptive name instead of a descriptive word instead of just using i so uh what i want to do is i want to print the word hi and you can see that i've used inverted commas because i'm using string or characters uh, so that's uh, we that's why I'm using this inverted commas. So when we do that, it would print uh, high four times because this vector contains uh, four uh, uh, four uh, four different elements. Uh, so it would use the length uh, of elements in a vector, right? Uh, but wouldn't it be nice if we can say hi John or hi Adam? Um, I mean, we, instead of having these four highs, we can have high and then the name of the of the person within this vector. So for that, what we can you do is we can use this paste function, and that paste function would uh, concatenate uh, add two characters. So so let me specify how that can be done. So let me remove this, and uh, what we do is we use this paste function, right, and uh, we use uh, the word high within inverted commas and we use comma and now we need to concatenate something else with it so uh, so high then the name so what it would do is it would take the names vector over here uh, get the first element from it assign it to this uh, this variable name and when the spaced function would do is it would use high and concatenate whatever name is within this name uh, name uh, i mean uh, whatever element is within this name uh, this name variable so if i execute this uh, what we see is uh, we do not see anything and the reason is i have used the concatenation but i haven't printed that out so what i do is i use this print uh, and encircle that and now uh, what we see is we see hi john hi adam uh, right all these four names okay we can also break loop so if i'm looping through and i what i want is that if certain condition is fulfilled i want that loop uh, to to discontinue or not to continue forward so for example i have over here a loop that would uh, that would iterate through one to ten but what i want is that as soon as i is greater than six uh, I want it to break. So what I do is now this set of uh, commands is exactly the same as we have been using. The newer thing is this if condition. So this if is a con uh, is a uh, if is a conditional statement. What we do is we write the word if and within parentheses we specify the condition. In this example, what I am saying is that whenever i is greater than six, then we need to do this uh, specific task and. Within these curly brackets would come the command that need to be performed. I can have other commands, but in this case, I'm just specifying the break command. So what this break would do is it would stop executing the loop. So let me do this over here. And you can see that uh, it started with one and as soon as it is greater than six, it, it stopped iterating right and now it did print out the seven because this print statement is before the break command if i can paste it after the break command then uh, then you wouldn't see seven over here right so the sequence 
would matter so your your commands should come after the conditions so if this condition is met it would break and if this condition isn't met it would continue on executing the command we can also do a break over here with this example right so i have over here a vector which contains uh, ones and zeros right so what i want is as soon as it reach this i is not equal to 1 i want it to break so this is exactly the same concept so it would print all the four ones that comes before that zero right but sometimes i do not want this to break i just want it to continue and to skip this zero over here right if 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 the number is not equal to one i just want that to be skipped so uh, this is where this uh, this next topic is we skip an iteration in loop so what we do is we use the next function so the rest of the command remains the same uh, we iterate over the sample uh, these these uh, these elements in the vector and uh, as soon as it hits a non one number i mean anything that is not one then it would just skip it so if i can execute this you can see that uh, we get all these so if there were all these let's say it was five and it was four then how many ones should we get we should get four and then here is this last one over here right so if i can refresh that we can get five ones let's move to while loop now while loop is different from for loop what we do is uh, instead of having a specific iteration we have a logical condition and once that logical condition is met these commands would be executed so the syntax of while loop is we write the word while then specify the set the condition within parentheses and uh, within the curly bracket specify specify the command right so let's say we have this num vector which uh, which contains uh, one right and now what we do is we uh, we use the while loop and we specify the condition that is if this num is less than 10 it should print uh, this number right uh, now if we execute this loop it would keep on executing because we have entered an infinite loop there is nothing stopping this loop the reason is that i had to press the stop button to stop it the reason is that this num would remain always one we are not doing within uh, this this curly brackets or in, the, in these commands we are not doing anything to change that number so what we should do is uh, we should we, we should do something uh, to change that number so what i am doing over here is that i am adding one to that number so uh, when this iteration would start it would have the num would have a value of one when the while loop would start executing num would have a value of one so one would be less than 10 right so it would look like this and uh, it would print the number which would be one and then it would add uh, it would assign a new value to this num and that would be num plus one so now it would be two again it is less than 10 so it would continue executing it till it reaches 10 right so we get nine so as soon as it is 10 it is not less than 10 so the condition is not met and the while loop would stop continuing now remember there are other ways of looping uh, in r we have apply family of function where we have s apply l apply then we have other packages right like per uh, but this is the basic way of doing loops in r so uh, i hope that was useful stay tuned to the channel do hit the subscribe button and do hit the bell icon